What's going on everybody? This is Jeff with Altcoin Buzz. So today we're going to talk about offline storage, online storage, different wallets that you can use for storing your cryptocurrency. Uh, this is an ongoing issue that all of us have been continuing to have. And uh, yeah, if we just say, if we just look here, uh, we tweeted last night about the Binance um, issue that, you know, people were concerned that their coins might uh, have been compromised in their wallet that's on uh, Binance. So I just put this in there. Fookin preferred way to store your coins and tokens, be honest. Most of you guys say you prefer the, the convenience of the exchanges. That makes sense, right? Many people in the cryptocurrency, uh, many cryptocurrency veterans, I should say, don't recommend that we store our coins on exchanges. Um, they recommend that that because of, if you look back in the history, you've seen how hacks happen, such as the Mt. Gox situation. Um, you can go on to YouTube or Google and just type in Mt. Gox to see what happened with that. Uh, but the, uh, the second answer was cold storage, then you have paper wallet, and then Fook if I know. Um, and if we go in here to the comments, you can see some answers, so you're, you're more than welcome to come on here and see what people say. A lot of uh, Ledger Nano S, and then we have some, like Michael uh, Kirchner, he said Ledger Nano S. So, um, yeah, you're more than welcome to come through here and take a look at what people were suggesting. And then I said, okay, it's official like a referee with the whistle. Storage is crypto's biggest headache. You would think some genius developer would solve this ASAP. Yeah, I mean, uh, the storage thing is a concern for pretty much everyone investing in cryptocurrency, even veterans, people who've been doing this for a long time. But most of the veterans do resort to um, hardware wallets like Ledger Nano S, okay? So there's this Ledger Nano right here. And then we also have Trezor, Bitcoin wallet, right? So if you're interested in picking up a hardware wallet, they're kind of pricey, I guess, you know, it's like a hundred bucks, um, US dollars, but it's one way to store your cryptocurrency uh, and have it in, you know, have control of it. Before you do anything with this, I wanna say you need to write down your backup codes and you need to store those safely, like in a, in a safe place, okay? So it's very important, no matter what you do, that you always write down your backup codes, just in case, I don't know, maybe you're traveling overseas, you're going to a hotel, or maybe you're traveling somewhere, you go to a hotel, and you're checking your cryptocurrency wallet from a hotel, Hilton, Garden, or wherever, and you might accidentally leave it behind, because it is small, it's like a external hard drive. Obviously, we'd like to think that that wouldn't happen, but there's always that potential. Now, if you did do that, or misplaced it, you would access your um, backup key in your on that paper, okay? So what I what I would recommend you do, write it down, put it in a safe box. Also have an external hard drive, and then also store it in that, okay? Don't you don't you're, it's not recommended that you store it online anywhere, and you don't want it, you want to put it in a safe place so no one can access it, okay? So that's kind of my tip on that. Now. Um, moving right along from these hardware wallets, Ledger Nano and Trezor. Okay, we'll put links below if you want. Um, if not, you know, we don't need to put a link. And then, so there's also this option for uh, My Ether Wallet. You can use, if you have a Ledger, you can, this is what most people recommend, including My Ether Wallet. So you get your Ledger Nano and you hit this, and then you plug in your Ledger Nano with Ethereum. So this is only for ERC20 tokens and you hit connect to Ledger Wallet, okay? So that's how you would do that. The other way would be to do it with a private key or any of these other options. You could do it with a Trezor, okay? Private key. Um, but this is the one that's recommended. Hardware Wallet with My Ether Wallet. But the problem is you can only store ERC20 tokens there. That means e uh, Ethereum tokens. So that leads us to our next point. Now there is a there is a um, project that's out there right now that's got a lot of people's attention. It's called Ethos. This is one of the reasons why people are so excited about Ethos, including Superman. You know, and um, it's more than just an investment. It's an actual uh, universal wallet. So if we go to their website, you can see what they're talking about doing here. And um, you know, this is just kind of some stuff to be excited about in terms of storage, right? 
Unlock the future of investment. Empower the world. Our mission is to make the daunting cryptocurrency market accessible to everyone, accelerate adoption of blockchain technology, and democratize ownership of cryptocurrencies. Ethos harnesses the power of design, technology, and social intelligence to create a breakthrough solution that will enable everyone to participate in the new economy. We're putting the power back in the hands of the people where it belongs. You can follow them on Telegram. You can read their white paper. And then right down here, you can see how they're um, stacking up with all of the um, features. Bitcoin, you'll be able to store your Bitcoin on there. Asset allocation, mobile support, funds, fund transfer, cold storage, manage keys, software interface, altcoins. Now, I don't know if it's going to be all the altcoins, but if it is, that's amazing. ERC-20 tokens, token classifications, and then you have the social, which is interesting. Okay, so now there's other coins out there that you can take a look at. Uh, well, uh, yeah, coins. Um, there's a wallet here, the bread wallet. So they're, they're also a solution to this. Bread is a simple and secure Bitcoin wallet. So um, you can get it on Apple Store, Google Play. Yet again, you want to back it up. You're, you want to back up your keys, okay? Um, I'm, ag I'm personally agnostic to what I use. I'll just tell you what I personally do. I diversify my storage across many different platforms. I have some coins on exchanges. I have some coins on a hardware wallet. I have some coins on a hardware wallet connected through my Ether wallet. I also have um, coins stored on, let's see here, where else do I have coins? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I haven't really thought about exactly everywhere I have coins because I've collected coins, <laughs> kind of like people collect stamps. But um, here's another one that a lot of people like, and I'm going to mention it here. It's called the Exodus Wallet. I'm going to play the video so you guys can get an idea of what Exodus Wallet is. I don't personally use Exodus, but I'm looking into it. Um, but you guys have also recommended it, so let's watch the video together and see what we think. My name is Daniel Castanoli. I'm the co-founder and chief creative officer of Exodus. The blockchain, for the first time in history, has created a movement to shift power back to the people to manage their own assets, with no banks, no brokers, or institutional oversight. We created Exodus for these visionaries, explorers departing the legacy system to protect and create wealth for future generations. My name is JP and I'm co-founder of Exodus. People risk too much by trading on exchanges. These exchanges ask you weird questions like, where did you get your money? Where are you sending your money? What is your LinkedIn profile? This develops a bad relationship with customers. You give up control of your identity, privacy, and money because you believe that you don't have a choice. We're building Exodus to bring you that choice. All right, guys. So, like I said, overall, oh, I also um, have a Chrome extension here. You can use Jack's blockchain wallet just to show you. I have this installed just to show you how it would function. Um, your Bitcoin address. I've used this before. I just, the storage thing is really complex and um, I don't know if I trust this extension here um, to hold my coins, but yet again, you can back it up. So that's always the best thing you can do is back it up, you know, back up your, uh, your storage with that uh, key, paper key, paper wallet, if you want to call it that. Now, here's another uh, interesting article. This is by MRI Levy. Okay. So they, they said the top five best altcoin wallets and overview. And I figured that I would put this out there. It's on Steemit, um, Cryptonator, Agama, Exodus is number three, Jax, which I just showed you right here, but you can also download Jax on your, um, phone so you can I think you can connect jacks on on your desktop on your Chrome extension and you can also um, have it on your your phone and, and it can all be connected so that's kind of cool and then coin on me coin so 
let us know in the comments, guys, what's your what's your fa favorite option for storing uh, your cryptocurrency. This is a big this is a big uh, issue for um, people in cryptocurrency, and we're looking to spread the word here as a collective to get get it out there what people prefer and how their safe safe holdings are. For me, I, like I said, I diversify. I keep a variety of coins because I do hold quite a few altcoins. I know that that might not always be the best uh, tactic. It's just I'm invested in a lot of projects. That's the way I'm going about it. Um, I recommend that you find out, you figure out the best way for you to go about it. It's your choice. So um, because I do hold various different um, positions and different coins, at some point I will be consolidating my positions. Um, once some of these coins kind of pull ahead of the others, I'll, I will look to, um, especially if I'm, you know, take, I'm, I'll look to take some profit on, uh, on some of these positions that I've been holding for a while and, um, consolidate into some of the top tier coins as time goes by, dependent upon the situation that comes about. Um, but yeah, I, I diversify across multiple storages and, uh, that's something that maybe will work for you. But like I said, I do use a ledger nano S. Okay. I do use this. I haven't tried the Trezor and I do use my Ether wallet. There is a new option for my Ether wallet that has come out. If we go, there's a little bit of drama that's been playing out here. It's called My Crypto now. I've never used this, but this is the old My Ether wallet account. Oh, I better follow Ledger. Keep up to date with them. But um, My crypto.com I haven't even really checked it but let's go check it real quick and see what's going on this is okay see so <laughs> we're um now we're in a wild west guys the wild west of cryptocurrency so uh, we're all kind of in this together we'll see you guys next time please drop a comment below letting us know what you think thank you to everyone who's been uh, following this channel and liking these videos we'll see you next time